Alright nerds, scalpers, a term thrown all over the internet to describe deplorable human beings taking advantage of the desperation of others. Or so everybody says. Scalpers have been dragged through the mud due to their scummy business practices of buying something high in demand and then selling it for outrageous prices. Today, we'll be taking a look at PS5 scalpers and more importantly, how they've responded to all the bad press they've received. Before we begin, we need to take a look at how PS5 scalpers actually do what they do. They often have bots that immediately purchase consoles online for them, before any normal person can even really have the chance to buy one themselves, and then of course they sell these back on, say, eBay for ridiculous prices that are just absurd. The Lab is a private group that advises paying customers on how to scalp products themselves, and spoke about the bad press they often receive by Jordan, who runs it, and these are his thoughts on it. One of his quotes, All we are acting as is a middleman for limited quantity items. Okay, so the delusion is that they are middlemen, which is technically true, as by definition they are middlemen. Except he completely ignores the fact that middlemen don't upcharge what they're selling by 200% or more for a product that doesn't need a middleman. They aren't selling expensive antiques, they're selling video game systems. The problem with doing this is that it isn't being charged by a few dollars, it's often upcharged by hundreds of dollars. Many of these scalpers use a badly twisted version of them being some sort of Robin Hood, but they are sadly mistaken. Now, many stores will update their websites with new consoles at inopportune times in the early morning or even night, which means that the only people who are able to buy these right away are the people with notifications set for these sorts of things. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.